Welcome to today's video. This feels pretty unusual. I'm at a train station. Uh, we are now allowed to stay at other people's houses. So I'm going to be visiting Jimmy and Emily, the makers of Atticus clothing, up north. I've got a load of luggage with me. Going to get the train from here to London, then the train from London to Durham. Got to wear this on public transport. train before with a bike it never goes well because they've changed the system there used to be a carriage you could put your bike in now they've got these cupboards that guy's one fits in fine but if you've got deep wheels you just have to like wedge it in there's this weird like separator thing which i've pushed against it but hooking the handlebars on is the only thing that's stopping my bike from falling over so a little bit of a change of plan I'm now riding over to backyard bike shop meeting Jimmy and Emily and I need to fix a creek that my bike's developed uh, because me and Brown put it together in a bit of a rush. Backyard bike shop's actually in Newcastle, not Durham, so I had to get off one stop later on the train and ride this last little bit with a really heavy bag on. I think the BB, because it's one of those plastic Shimano ones inside the shell, is slipping a little bit. It's a bit windy here in Newcastle. Hello. How are you, right? how are you guys? Not bad, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So I don't want to be too harsh on Brown, like we were in a massive rush when we did this and he had to get home for his uh, supermarket shop. So we're, we're, we're going to bang it with a hammer and then it will be fixed. It's dry. Dry? Well, it's like there's no grease on there. It's good because it, you know, it's an off-road bike, going down a trail, people will know you're coming. You don't have a belt, do you? What grease are you using on this? Morgan Blue Aquaproof Paste. It's like a really, really thick waterproof paste. Just lasts for ages. We've had guys sticking this on headsets, riding the entire winter, open it up afterwards, and it's still in there. Isn't my bottom bracket going to be slipping around? Arguably, I don't think it would, but if it did, it just wouldn't creep, so it wouldn't really matter if it did. <laughs> you can't do that, man. GT85 on the rotors, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It actually got loads faster. Imagine if I took the wrong one. So we're going to do a funny experiment. We think um, there is enough clearance on the Villa Yena to fit these super fat tyres. Why do these? 2.3? 2.1 Okay. It won't be rideable, but it might make for a funny looking bike, so let's have a seat. You'd be able to put a 700 by 50. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm just going to take those, yeah. borrow them for the week. Oh, borrow them if you want. I just need to get a, I need to get more free bodies for them because they are demo wheels. Oh, like. Yeah, Zip sent them down to kind of have people. Are they gravel wheels? Yeah. Well, uh, 303, 650s. Every wheel is a gravel, gravel wheel, right? Yeah. The internal room with is quite wide. I don't know exact measurements, but yeah, they, I mean, I've done stupid things with them this year. And, and they haven't broken. Done wrong, so yeah. Yeah, indestructible, I think. New house. Different from the last one. Oh, so you've, you've actually been to a lot of our houses now, haven't you? Or places we've lived. Four. What's the what you count as the fourth? Emily's parents. Yeah. Right now the plan is to eat chicken nuggets. Corn nuggets. The, the Tesco's version. Yeah. Don't worry, it's not real chicken. After that, we're going to go for a walk, and I will introduce you if you don't know Jimmy and Emily, because I know there's lots of new viewers, and you don't know them. Everyone who does already know you. Tough shit. You're getting introduced again. You, you've grown so much recently. Like it's. It, I was actually thinking when you were like, oh yeah, we'll have to reintroduce you to people again. I was like. Gosh, it so, feels so weird, because like... It's your fault for moving up north. How, how many subscribers did you have when we met? I'm pretty sure it was about like three and a half thousand. He's so big though. Francis kid eating chicken nuggets in our house! I don't think we should use the, the word chicken anymore. It's no. Like, it's like it's like encouraging people to have chicken nuggets. Corn nuggets. Get a sound bite of us saying corn nuggets and then dub it over every time I said chicken before. Go on. Corn nuggets. So Jimmy and Emily have been around since right at the birth of this YouTube channel. There was one really early video where I first met Jimmy. What was it called? He tore my legs off. When you were a rubbish cyclist and I was a good one. <laughs> I didn't even have a bike at that point. You lent me your Cad X or something, didn't no, you? No, I think I rode the Cad X. I was being nice to you. I rode the Cad X with cyclocross tires and I gave you my 
my, my custom steel road bike <laughs> that was like primed for crit racing. Yeah, 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 whatever. And then I still absolutely destroyed it, even though you did have to give me a gel after about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, these guys started a kit brand. Uh, it was in the super early stages back then, um, but it has since evolved. They've become a sponsor of me and the channel. The kit brand is called Atticus. So that's all the crazy jersey designs and like the one that I always wear that's black and says Atticus Cycle Squad on it. You guys used to live in London and then moved here up north uh, in between Newcastle and Durham. And yeah, the clothing brand has grown. You've got a massive office, which you're going to go to tomorrow. We can film some videos on kit. How's it all going up here? No, it's good. So I think you asked, last visited us in winter, didn't you? This year has been quite different because of the bump in the road, which was COVID-19. It's really windy in the north, isn't it? <laughs> Just hiking up the side of the Our stuff's made in Italy! <laughs> <laughs> Probably unlike some other large clothing brands which can afford to buy their stock in super super early do all of their like marketing and photo shoots around it and then take it out and that process probably happens over a couple of months for them for us we get stuff in we shoot it and we turn it around within a week and then yeah. it's up for sale obviously Italy's situation with COVID-19 was quite bad quite early on um, and our stuff basically got caught up in that so none of it turned up six weeks uh, it, was long. it was even longer than that wasn't it yeah it was a while wasn't it and then it kind of all turned up and since then yeah, we've just kind of been going. The plan was to release something different each month and obviously the timelines for that have changed based on kind of the, the delay that we had at the, the, the beginning, but yeah, it's, it's gone good. I hope everyone can hear you. Yeah. I have no <laughs> idea, it's so windy up here. <laughs> So the north is really windy and really cold. How long am I here for? I'm cold, what are you talking about? It's freezing. These guys have acclimatized because they've been up here for a while. It's like five degrees less than London, easy. And raining, all the time. Even when it's dry, it's raining like a little bit on you. <laughs> so we're gonna spend the next few days catching up because I haven't seen these guys in ages. Uh, I've got the gravel bike with me and there's some amazing gravel trails around here. The roads are also incredible. There's all of the roads from the Tour of the Reservoir race uh, just basically on their doorstep. Couldn't be in a better location for cycling. How is there so much daylight at nearly eight o'clock? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. We actually get, you get more daylight here than you do in London, about 45 minutes a day. So about- That doesn't make sense. Well, it does, because we're so far north. higher up. So in the, in the winter we get oh, less higher. light. So you're closer to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Basically in the Arctic Circle. So I'm going to sign today's video off now. Should be a really fun week. Uh, we've got some riding planned tomorrow. Visit to the office and check out some new kit. Fingers crossed something new is arriving at Atticus as well. So we might be able to get that on film. And I've got a bit of an announcement tomorrow as well. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.